You ready? Okay, Ephesians 5, Amplified Version. Therefore become imitators of God, copy him and follow his example. As well-beloved children imitate their father and walk continually in love. That is, value one another. Practice empathy and compassion, unselfishly seeking the best for others. Just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us, an offering and sacrifice to God, slain for you, so that it became a sweet fragrance. You, you realize that when you do, when you love people according to God's will, you are a sweet-smelling sacrifice to him. You smell good, in other words. You realize you can stink. When you live in sin, you can actually physically stink to God. Okay? Don't be stinkers. Um, <clears throat> but sexual immorality and all moral impurity and decent offensive behavior or greed must not even be hinted at among you, as is proper among saints, for as believers... Our way of life, whether in public or in private, reflects the validity of our faith. Let there be no filthiness and silly talk, or coarse, obscene, or vulgar joking, because such things are not appropriate for believers. But instead, speak of your thankfulness to God. That's something we should practice anyway. But we'll be sure of this. Don't miss this, guys, because you know some people who are guilty of this. Be sure of this. No Im immoral, impure, or greedy person, for that one is, in effect, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God, for such a person places a higher value on something other than God. Let no one deceive you with their empty arguments that encourage you to sin. For because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Okay, so let's stop right there. As I said, you know some people who are guilty of that. And they, in fact, I can tell you, tried to influence your brother to do things that were not immoral. Well, that were not moral. I don't want to say who he's recording. But my point is this, you will have people who are living against God's will, who will try to influence you. Now, I'll admit, I'm guilty of joking sometimes in a manner that's not befitting a Christian. And I put that under the blood of Jesus, and I'm going to try to do better. So be careful of what you allow yourself to say, because from the heart, the mouth speaks. The mouth reveals the nature of the heart. Keep that in mind. Okay? Okay? Good?